Creating together. In this episode, The Enchanted Forest. Luna, Chloe, Zoe, Noah, Max, and Parker were on a camping trip in Canada. One night, they found an ancient book hidden under some rocks. Look at this old book. It's about the forest. Wow. It says every plant and tree has a magical ability. We can unlock these abilities and use them to help the forest. How do we unlock them? The instructions are in the book, but there is a missing page. We need to find the page. Let's go into the forest and look for it. The kids went into the forest searching for the missing page. After a while, they found a small mystery house. Who would live in the middle of the forest? Let's check inside. Maybe we'll find a clue. Inside the house, they found the missing page, but also something more alarming. I found the missing page! It tells us how to unlock the magical abilities. Wait, there's more. It's an evil plan. The wizard who lives here wants to destroy the forest. We have to stop him. The kids ran out of the house, taking the page and the evil plan with them. But the wizard soon discovered that they had been there. Someone has taken the page and my plans. I will find them. Using his crystal ball, the wizard tracked the kids and ran out to chase them. We need to choose the magic from the plants and trees to protect the forest. Let's choose the plants that match our personalities. The kids decided on which plants and trees to use. Luna chose a sunflower to bright energy. Chloe picked the roses for its beauty and thorns. Max chose the Rafflesia for unique powers. Zoe chose Fairness for its resilience. Noah went with a carnivorous plant for its ability to trap enemy. And Parker chose mushrooms for their strength. Sunflower, shine your energy on us. Roses, protect tools with your thorns. Thorns, bring me your resilience. Carnivorous plants, track our enemy. Hafleza, give me your special powers. Marshals, give us our strengths. The plants and trees responded to the kids' calls. Each setting free, they magical abilities. The forest came alive with magic, ready to defend itself. You think you can stop me with plants? Ha ha ha. But the wizard minimized the power of nature. The magic of the plants and trees together scared him, and he was beat. We did it. We saved the forest. Nature is magic, is in its diversity and beauty. And it our job to protect it. As the sun began to set, the kids realized their adventure was not over. They had tapped into a hiding world of magic, having the responsibility to keep it safe. Our journey has just begun. We have so much more to learn and protect. We can be the guardians of this forest and our secrets. Together, we can make a difference. Let's promise to always protect the magic of the nature. For the forest and for future generations. With their hearts filled with determination, the kids returned the forest to its peaceful state. They have made the world a better place, knowing that the true power of magic is in our love for Nature. Moral of the story. Nature's magic is in its diversity and beauty, and it's your job to protect it. <laughs>